Here we are now on step 46. And step 46 is all about the really the components that go inside the truck. So the dashboard, steering wheel, seats, and the mounting of those. And uh, also this little thing about the grill, we need to use the mesh, which we've got here. And uh, we need to cut that into shape. And on the side there, it shows you how to cut those into shape. So you use this as a template. And then we've got some more painting to do. Hey! Um, so thinking of a suitable colour scheme that will go with the uh, nice Mika red. Um, so yeah, uh, there'll be a painting and then we will come back and pop those components inside the truck. So yeah, going to be a few days now um, painting, getting these right, waiting for it to dry. Um, and then we'll go from there. Righty, let's get cracking. Hi there, so we've been working on step 46 and step 46 is a busy little step with the paint. Um, so you, I've been painting the front grill and step 46, you have to install the mesh, which is in, that's done. So that's, that's the front grill, still got a sticker to put here as well. And I've also been doing the seats there you are, that's the seats and the dashboard. Um, so a lot of painting first of all, and then got to do gluing and everything else. So um, quite a busy step to get to this one, uh, taking me a few days of painting, getting things right, coating it. And yeah, step 46 is now completed. We've got the component parts now. We can move on to the next step. Right, we are. We are now moving on to step 47. And step 47 is taking the components that we built in step 46, so our painted interior and our um, windscreen wipers. We've got those to, that I've painted and I've now put the little sticker on for the Saab badge. And taking those components and putting them inside the cab. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's quite a simple job, really, um, sort of bolting through, um, putting the face on and uh, yeah, just sort of screwing those together. Right, so I shall crack on with that bit now. And here we are, we're at the end of step 47. So as you can see, oh, you can see me in the reflection that the cab is in. There we go. Cab is in. Dashboard is in. There we go, and uh, yeah, looks quite nice, <laughs> not bad. Anyway, so that's step 47 completed. Right, we are now on step 48, and step 48, we need to cut out some of the stickers from the sticker pack, and I have actually gone ahead and done that. So that's the Highline sticker and the two, uh, if you like, the Hawk-like stickers that go on either side of the cab. So I've done those there as well, take a little bit of time to cut them out. And the support rod that we built in step 41, that needs to go onto the chassis. And just to show you that that's been installed with a couple of the BC3 screws, there we are. That's your support rod that goes on the chassis. Okay, so I've just left that to the, side, to the side for the moment. So there we are. And yeah, we've still got a little bit of wiring, tidying to do. Uh, I've got this stretchy sleeve that I've managed to put these cables through. A uh, little tip here, again, from the Cobby, uh, Hobby Concepts uh, from Bob there. If you take these little clip ends off, you can then get the cables through the expandable sleeving and that goes all the way down to the back keeps it nice and tidy all right so we go on to step 48 we do some stickers and then uh, put a cab looks like we're gonna mount the cab onto the chassis and at the end of step 48 you should have something that kind of looks like this 
and it's starting to look very much like a truck now. Wow, there we are. There we go, so that is step 48 complete. And we can move on to the next. So step 49, very simple step. Um, it's a case of putting the antennae rod in, which I'm not going to do because we've got more modern radio gear anymore. I don't want a great big whipping thing looking out of the top of the uh, at the top of the truck. It looks a bit naff, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, it's this thing here, and if you kind of put it like that, it kind of whips up. And yeah, no, nah, sorry, not the main. And um, the putting the body on so that it tilts. So um, let me just sort of demonstrate that. There we are. So it kind of tilts. And you've got the rod system that uh, goes up here, and that just screws in on there. So you pop it down, there you go, it goes down. All right, so anyway, that's step 49. Um, nice, easy step. On to step 50. Right, we are now on step 50. And step 50, we need some screws from the screw bag uh, from bb2s we need here we need 12 of those so trust me guys there's 12 of those 2.2 by 8 millimeter screws and two of the mf2s from from the f bag um, of the two by 10 millimeters and we need these parts here so we need the uh, t2s which are these glazing units that go over the top we need the n2 and the n4s which are the light lenses, we need the Q10 and 11 parts, we need the uh, Air Q7 parts which are these LED holders, we need the N3 parts which are these which are going to hold the 3mm LEDs, and we've got our LEDs here as well, and uh, we need the uh, T3s which are the glazing parts here, I don't know if you pick these out, it's the little glazing parts, we're going to need our front bumper grill which we painted earlier and the grill itself and the mesh I've already stuck in as well so uh, I've done a few parts on on this step already and as you can see we've got to put all these components together and using option 11 um, I'm putting the LEDs in as well uh, so here we go I'll get that done right so this is step 50 and as you can see here I've Pop the front in, the lights are in, the front grill's on, uh, the wiring's in place, and I've got my expandable sleeving that I've used. This is a six mil expandable sleeving. And uh, you take the clip, you take these off gently, and you bundle the wires up through and through, keeps them nice and neat. There you are. A little bit of heat shrink at the front here, because once I've got this all in place, I'm gonna heat shrink that down to that make it nice and neat and that'll all be behind the grill so you won't see it there we are nicely done wiring loom done step 50 done we now move on to the last step 51 okay so we're now on step 51 and step 51 we need to take the top bar which we uh, have stickers on and as you can see here the top bar so we have to glue that into place um, i have been painting and I've left it painted my way and we need to take the front bumper and lights which is this unit here uh, we need to take this and put this onto the truck so as you can see I've popped the top bar on and now I've got a space here to put the front bumper light unit into place so that's what we're going to do next Okay, so we are now on putting in the electronic module. So we need to fit the MFC3 unit and we need to fit this into our cab. So we need to fit that into here. Now, Tamiya say that in order to fit the MFC03 unit, we need 
to remove the seats and dashboard. So we need to remove those items in there. But I don't want to remove them. I like them in there. So I had to make a small modification so that I could have my MFC unit and my dashboard. And I'm going to put a driver figure in there too. Ah, so how did I fit it all in? Well, I'm going to show you. So here is our truck and I've got the control unit loom. I've got the spaghetti junction. Sorry, no, I've got the rear LED loom. So that loom is for, that loom is for all the LEDs on the rear. And I've got the front light LED loom for all the front lights. I've got my servo wires and my motor wires. So you may recall from step 36, our receiver bracket, the original position was across the motor. So that's across this post and this post. Now, as you can see, that receiver bracket, I've moved that forward. And it's also lower than this standoff pieces here and here. So what that allows me to do is leave my dashboard in the cab, but allows me to pop the MFC unit on top of there. So there you have it. It will now sit in there. And if I close this, this bit will be underneath the dashboard. Obviously I've got some cable tidying to do. And there it is. So the MFC 03 unit with the receiver bracket in its new position, which I just drilled Two, mil, two and a half millimeter hole into the into the main uh, plastic and just re-screwed it with the same fixings of the three by eight mils now sits in between the seats and the connections are underneath the dashboard so technically speaking you won't see it simple come on Tamia if I can do that anyone can Right, so let's see if we've got this correct. And this is the finished model, all bar the driver. And let's have a look. Right, I think we're armed and ready. This is a little bit more volume, this control panel here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so. Oh, and it starts up. That's nice. So, we've got our steering servo. We've got forward. And brakes, and then reverse, reversing lights as well. And reversing sounds. And I believe we should have horns as well. I um, believe we should have, I'll get this right, hazards. I believe we should also have uh, lights, rear lights, headlights with all the hazards as well. There we go. And I believe 
we should be able to turn it around. And seem to see. Reverse lights as well as the normal lights. And there we have it. That seems to be working as well. Very controlled. Turn it around. There we have it. Horn works. So all by the driver, that's all that's left. So let's turn those lights off. So I believe it's here, we can turn them off. Has this back on, has this back off. So that is my Scania R620 built. I hope you like. <laughs> Looks quite good. Just got to get a driver figure in there and we're done. Beautiful. Thank you to the RC Elf for making this dream come true. Got the trailer to build as well next, so uh, yeah, onto the trailer. We're going to have some more fun. Take care, keep yourself safe and well.